All right, welcome to Honkai Star Rail. I am the door. Um, noise. He has a phone. <laughs> I don't want that. I can't. Cash can. Yeah, she looks. Continue the story. So, you promise that if I win hide and seek, you'll tell Big Sister March all the ins and outs. Right. Yep, all the ins and outs. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> it just means you'll tell me all the details. No hiding anything and no telling fibs. It is a character. in an overgrounder, you know, who can never tell his fib. Yeah, never. Well, that's settled then. Okay, let's play. Huh? You, uh, when did you get here? Uh, quit acting like a child. <laughs> it's like this. After I woke up, that doctor said Sampo had taken Don Hong with him. I went around in circles trying to find the blue-haired scoundrel and bumped into these kids. They say they know where he is. But they said I had to join the moles or something if I wanted to find out. And to do that, I had to prove my strength by winning a game of hide-and-seek. Do you get it? Best of luck. <laughs> you just got here and now you're gonna leave uh, play hide and seek with me why do I need to play hey are you done with your secret talk the most time is precious yeah precious okay okay we're done pitch dark hook the great this is my friend she also wants to join the moles can she play too um sure Guess so. Then you guys are seeking. Uh, boss, they don't seem very smart. Why don't we do a practice one first? Hmm, you're right, Julian. Okay, let's do a practice one. I'll hide. You two have to find me. So you kids think you're better than us, huh? Just you wait and see. It's simple. When you see one of them, you just have to catch them. I heard that thing's been cursed. down here. Unless you can answer this question. 
<laughs> Show me the rule book. But we caught you. What's with the Q and A? Huh. I thought I had you there. Does a cat let you answer? Hmm, something's not right. That guy's been staring at us this whole time. Hide and seek might have to wait. Let's see what he wants. Hmm. My instincts are telling me something's not right with this guy. But. That's because I'm tall and old. I'm a grown man. Ask anyone. All right, the jig is up. Your voice gave it away. But I'm Julian of a thousand faces. Why did you have to talk to me? My reputation is ruined. What will the boss think? No need for the melodrama. That was still a magical performance. I... I'm sorry, boss. I failed. Darn! How did you see through Julian's disguise? What villainy is this? <laughs> Those with keen eyes see the dust between the stars. I came up with that, by the way. About time I got some credit for it. So, Pitch Dark Hook the Great. You can tell us now, right? Uh, yes. The boss of the moles is true to her word. Look, saw the blue-haired guy take your dark-haired friend to the fight club. The fight club? I thought the first you rule don't was. talk about it. Is this more secret talk? Uh, Pitch Dark Hook the Great. Where is the fight club? <laughs> Can you show us the way? Hmm. But it's an obvious building. Grown-ups are just useless. Come with Hawk, I'll take you over. Thanks, oh great one. That's Pitch Dark Hook the Great to you. Who said you could shorten my title? I'll call you Hook. A club just for fighting. Who knew undergrounders had such brutal hobbies? Mm -hmm. In fact, it's awesome! They let you take part? When did this place last have an inspection? Loads of kids take part. We're here! This is it! Uh, Hook's gonna go fight! See you later! Who's in charge here? How can they just let kids attack each other? The moles are in charge, that too! Uh, but only the kids. Wildfire's in charge of grown-up business. Um, it's... The moles for grown-up. Ooh, they need one more player there. I, I gotta go. If you ever want to fight, come find me. My friend, looking for a ticket? Are you ready for today's most spectacular, spine-tingling, earth-shattering contest? On one Dr. Side, Dig. Recommended by tall, blue, and handsome, the unsmiling, pulverizing power of the new kid on the block, Cold Dragon Young! And his opponent is none other than the unfeeling, incendiary, explosive might of Team Robomatic! All praise to Boss Farag, given that no other fighter was willing to take on the strength of Team Robomatic. Cold Dragon Young will face off against these opponents alone. On learning his fate, the brave young fighter had one thing to say: whatever. And so, let the semifinals of the 1758th Fighting King Challenge begin. Quick, let's help him. Oh, brothers and sisters, an unexpected turn of events. 
two members of the audience have charged into the octagon. It looks like they want to team up with Cold Dragon Young! <laughs> so you're awake. Yeah, the first thing we did was go look for you. And now that we found you, we're trying to make sure you don't get your butt kicked. You're welcome. Brothers and sisters, you can feel their passion. <clears throat> the magnetic pull of this electric sport is undeniable. But let me reiterate, these competitions are for professionals only. Whatever you do, kids, don't try this at home. And Cold Dragon Young is signaling that the contest will go ahead. He's just itching to get into it. And so are we. It's the Iron Fist of Cold Dragon Young and friends versus the Iron Skin of Team Robomatic. I can take them on my own, you know. Oh, we need to work on your emotional intelligence. She actually looks like a lazy yeah. Time to twirl. Let's make it quick. Huh. Honored to meet me. Last-minute admirers emerge victorious! Admirers? How come we don't get cool nicknames? We don't introduce ourselves. Younger and youngest? <sighs> Forget it. I think our taste in nicknames is different. Hey, look! It's Sampo! Let's get after him. That guy can't have gotten too far. Let's search nearby. It's you! I was just thinking to myself, am I getting robbed? Who are these people following me? So, you know, you start to walk a little faster. And anywho, if I just turned around, I could have thrown open my arms and said a big hi to my old friends. Save it. You saw us in there and got scared. So you pulled a runner. Me? Scared? Oh, <laughs> my friends. What do I have to fear? <laughs> Surely I haven't done anything to offend you. Set him up? <gasps> yeah, with a job. You guys are new here, and let me tell you, you're gonna need some cash. And Sampo Koski stops at nothing to help his friends. Saving you was just the beginning. I have to consider your finances, too. With me, you get the full service, folks. That's friendship. I had no choice but to take you guys down here. It was too dangerous for us on the surface. We're wanted criminals. Sure, the underworld has its drawbacks, but at least the guards would never follow us. We're safe here. Be that as it may, did you really have to poison us? Maybe you've forgotten. But we were in a tight spot, my friend. There was no time to think. I had to use whatever I could. Hmm. So it wasn't to cover anything up? A secret that you didn't want anyone, including us, to find out? <laughs> Don Hung, what secret? Well, I'm not certain yet. But there's more to our friend here than meets the eye. You win. I'll help you to the best of my ability, free of charge, I might add. But please, don't go spreading rumors about me. <sighs> All right, to prove my sincerity, I'll introduce you to Wildfire. If you're looking for something down here, they're the ones to ask. Because you're looking for something? Why are you asking? 
Dan Hung told me you guys were searching for a... Uh, what's the word? Stellaron. Sounded pretty powerful. If anyone has a clue on its whereabouts, it'll be wildfire. You said I'd uncover a clue if I became the Fight Club champion. Uh, uh yeah. I mean, if you fought in the final round and won, you'd have incredible street cred right now. Wildfire wouldn't think twice about talking with you. I don't see the problem. Well, there's no such thing as a free lunch, of course. Wildfire has no reason to help you yet, so we'll just have to give them one. With your talents, we have nothing to worry about. I'm telling you, no matter where you go, there's only one rule to getting things done. Find the demand. You know, like supply and demand. Anyway, the underground has been sealed off for more than a decade. But do you think people here are just resigned to their fate? Well, if you want my opinion, they're a bunch of artless, stubborn fools. But who cares what I think, huh? They're a band of do-gooders who sprung up to maintain order in the underground after the Silvermane guards withdrew Wildfire set up shop. Still, don't underestimate them. We walk in the presence of giants. Have you heard that saying before? Well, Wildfire has giants in its midst. You'll see. Have a little faith. It's like I said, Sampo never lets friends who've helped him come to harm. <laughs> so what does Wildfire do all day? Buy everything. They keep the peace, uphold justice, fight for resources, distribute goods. The sliver of trust they have for me has to do with the last one. Huh. Where's Joshua? What are those shiny rocks? Ah, this is Geomero, an exothermic ore. The underground and the surface are sealed off from one another, right? Well, only the Geomero transport line is still running. The underground sends ore to the surface, and the surface sends goods to the underground. At least in theory. Most undergrounders are miners, and this is what they mine for a living. You know, if we didn't have Geomero to burn, this world would have frozen to death long ago. All right, let's keep moving. The person I was looking for isn't here. Old Oleg isn't here either? Where is everyone? <laughs> so you're leading us on another wild goose chase? I wouldn't dare. Trust me, we're getting close. <sighs> huh? What's that huge structure in the distance? Oh, that's the furnace core. It's the pillar that connects the underworld and the overworld. People used to travel up and down that thing, but then... Then what? It's a long story. In any case... Practically nothing moves up or down anymore. Except you. Oh, come on, my dear fellow. I thought we weren't going to discuss this. I beg you, the fewer rumors there are about me, the better. Okay, what do we have here? Recipe. Eighteen of ventral. Z 
Zila's usually always out on patrol here at this time. What's wild? Anya. Hey, look! Who is that? It looks like she's in trouble. Uh, my friends, don't just stand there. This drama doesn't need any more bystanders. Oh? You know, it might be interesting to see you get in trouble. <sighs> we should avoid attracting too much attention. But we can't just leave her. Does anyone have popcorn? Uh, no, we don't ignore. Exactly! My boy, Cold Dragon Young. Uh, young Master Dan Hung speaks with reason. Let's help her. All right, princess. Let's dispense with the pleasantries. <sighs> Dare attack someone on our turf? Well, how about a few rounds with me? Huh? Uh, darn it! Quick, disperse! Spineless thugs! Miss Zila, phew. It's a good thing you showed up when you did. My heartfelt thanks. These vagrants have got some nerve looking for trouble in wildfire terror. Uh, shut it, Sampo. This is you written all over it. Wildfire has countless issues on its plate right now. We don't need a side order of Koski. I hear a Silvermane guard is paying the Underworld a visit. Is that you? You kidnapped me and brought me to the Underground. What is the meaning of this? <laughs> Listen to her. What is the meaning of this? She still thinks she's an overworld princess. Do you know what's become of us down here while you live the easy life? Did you even consider the fate of the Underworlders? The Silvermane Guards aren't living the easy life. We are constantly engaged with the enemy, defending Bellabog from the scourge of attacking monsters and protecting all those above and below the surface. <laughs> Do you even hear yourself? You protect the Underground? Redeploying every guard to the surface, sealing off the only passageway, protecting the so-called architects, more like it. The Madam Guardian has her reasons. <laughs> Enough talk. You're coming with me. Chief Oleg wants to see you, and he's got more than a few questions. Perfect, Miss Zila. We were just on our way to pay Chief Oleg a visit ourselves. Room for a few more? Fully booked. Who are they? I'm Lisa. <laughs> what good is your name by itself? Well, it's like this. The chief's in the market for specific talent. An urgent request, so I'm taking them to see him. We're looking for a Stellaron. It's the source of all the disasters here. If we find it, we can... <laughs> I would recommend you not recite your story to everyone you meet. Miss Hila won't understand it anyway, so... Let's save it for the chief, huh? You're right. I don't understand it. And I don't plan on passing the message on either. Wildfires encountered trouble at the Great Mine. The chief's busy. If you really want to find him, come look for me at the mine entrance. I'm leaving. Daily training. Not scary to know they're better people if they work harder. The magic conch. Go ahead and subscribe. I'm Lisa. A 
Upgrade his gun. Yes, ma'am. Oh, that's what that is. Adventure mission daily commit. Oh, now this finally opens up. Okay. Complete a daily mission, level up a character. Any enemies. Ultimate. Italics. Diamond. XP Light Coat Credit Uh Dispatch Sheet Yeah, this one's Oh, assignment link limit two. What do I I'd want? I don't know. Maybe character. Limit? What's another one? You and you. Travel log. Synthesize. I'd synthesize, but I have like no idea what synthesizing does. Activate Neon's honor? Oh, okay. <laughs> Unlock Nameless Core. 